Today we're going to be making crispy beef with carrots and snow peas. Let's cut some meat. This is a skirt steak. Now, imagine if you had to cut this whole steak across the grain, it would look like spaghetti. So what you're going to do, you're going to take four inches, and you're going to cut it like that. And that's probably just about enough. If you were to cut this meat going with the grain, that would be really chewy. When you cut it against the grain, you're actually making that meat tender, because now you've cut those threads. I'm just going to drop the meat into our bowl. I'm going to continue that really thin. I'm going to marinate the meat. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. This is salty. You know how I'm always talking about salt or compliments? Too many compliments is an insult. If I'm like, oh, Watik, I like your hat. I mean, dude, I love your hat. I mean, that hat. Y'all see what? Yeah, Today you're so like, well, damn, what's wrong with that hat? <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. right. Salt is like compliments. You need to know how to use it. You need to know when to stop. This meat is now marinating. We're now going to make our rice. Rice, easy to remember, two parts water, one part rice. So we're going to put our rice in and put our water in. While we are waiting for that to come to a boil, we're now going to start cutting our vegetables. So let's start with our carrots. Cut it in half lengthwise. Now, what I'm going to do is cut on the bias. When you think about some of the Asian dishes, you know how they have those really nice cuts. This one, a bias, all it means is at an angle. Up, oh, we see it, we're coming to a boil. We see steam, steam means boiling. So what we're going to do is turn this to a simmer to low. We're going to put the lid on. You have to be aware of time, but what we're looking for when we open that lid is that we don't see the water. All right, so we have our carrots. Now we're going to do our snow peas. So you see the peas there? You see straight through there? You see the, those little peas? Yeah. So you take this end, and then I pull it. It's a little zipper. We are unzipping the bean. We kind of want it the same size of our carrots, so now just cutting them in half like that on the bias. When you do a stir fry, everything has to be ready before you start cooking. I'm going to go ahead and cut my scallions again on the bias, and we're going to cut them really thin. Once you get everything cut, everything is in piles, and everything is set for you. All right, we need three garlic cloves. So if you have a really big clove, and I said three, look at that one. Maybe you only need one. The average garlic clove may be like this. It's almost three times the size. On the top, you'll see like there's a root end. Cut that off. Now, if you tap your knife to the back of it, the skin comes off. Now, to fill our ginger, I'm going to grab a spoon, and then you just scrape it. Again, only the skin comes off. So you see how that got cleaned like so easy? All right, now we're going to make our sauce. So two tablespoons soy sauce, mirin, two tablespoons. And then we have red wine vinegar, a pinch of chili flakes. Now we, I'm going to put in my garlic, your ginger. When you're thinking about it, you're like, oh, let me take the ginger and do like this and go down like a knob of butter. Just like the meat, you can see if you look at the ginger, the grain is going this way. It's better if you go on the side against the grain. All right, everything is in there. So I have my sauce, the vegetables, our rice. I'm going to turn it off. The rice can just sit there. I have my beef that has been marinated. Now we're ready to cook. I'm going to do a cup of oil as this is heating up slowly. We're going to put a half a cup of cornstarch. And now I'm going to season it with salt and pepper. We're going to mix this up. Taking your beef, it goes into the cornstarch. Make sure that it is all coated. Put the meat into the strainer to knock off excess cornstarch. Put it onto our sheet pan to test your oil to see if it's hot enough. Take one piece of your meat and see if it's actually cooking and sizzling. You see that? Oh, oh no. Look at that. It's starting to that. sizzle. Put in our meat. Slowly, don't drop it, just half the, of the meat. Do you hear it cooking? Now you don't touch it. It's going to crisp up, and then we're going to turn it over. It's about three to four minutes. Just remember, it's crispy beef. If you take it out and it's not crispy, you're like, oh, I have not fulfilled the brief. And you see that brown? So turn those over. Look at that, crispy. That's what we're looking for. Boom, boom, boom. Let's take these out, put them on our mountains of paper towels. So three to four minutes. Once these have strained, you can move them over. You can even hear them. You hear that? All shucks. 
<laughs> if your pan gets too hot, feel free to lower it. This next batch is cooking up really quickly. I'm going to turn off my heat, and these are ready. Take this oil carefully, trash it. We don't need this oil anymore. I'm going to take a tablespoon of this cornstarch from our beef, and that's going to go into that soy sauce mixture. Mixing this all right here. Now, this is heating up. I'm going to add some oil. We're going to go in with our carrots first, because they're harder. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And when you're salting, you go up high, because the salt spreads. The carrots have a little bit of char on them. All right, that looks good. I'm going to now add in my snow peas. These don't take long to cook. Here's our sauce. Stir it one more time before you put it in the pan. If something gets thick, you can always add water. We need enough sauce in here so that we can coat our meat. So now our meat goes in. Once the sauce is thick, you can actually move it with the spatula and can make a trail in your pan. It is thick enough. This is done. Ready to plate. Oh, and the takeout. Takeout. Oh, so it's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Sorry, I got really excited. You got excited? I was like, it's so cute. Now, with our rice, I'm taking a fork and going like this just to fluff it up. We have our mound of rice, and voila. What did I miss? What did I forget to do? Taste, Taste it. it! Ah! Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs>